Hey guys, it's me, Steph. So today is my husband's birthday and you will not believe what he's doing. He is out of town working on my 1966 Mustang. So I think that's pretty selfless of him. So I am out shopping for him, didn't plan ahead, obviously, um, and I've been out of town, but now I'm back in Tacoma in the rain, and um, I gotta show you what I got my redneck husband. So I got him this really cool shirt, you know, he's a bow hunter and a redneck, and if you haven't seen that, you gotta go back to my redneck um, vlog. Anyway, so I got him this, and it says, Hunter's Nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> a camouflage deer that's so funny because bow hunters they always go out and camouflage they put no scent all over their clothes sometimes they paint their face you know I mean they just you know they have to sneak up really close so they do the whole camouflage thing so I think he will think that's funny but the next thing I got him is something our 24 year old our cool San Diego 24 year old would wear but mm, I don't know if a redneck will wear them, but we'll see. These might get exchanged, but there's some Levi's um, Strauss Signature Slim Straight Authentics. And the reason I bought him slim jeans, because you guys, he his LIW is 198. This weekend he was 189. 189, I mean, he's so just dropping, dropping, dropping weight. And now we're in P4 and he eats, you know, he ordered himself pizza. He ate a half a pizza one night when I was gone. And then um, he said something about, oh, he went and got hamburger and french fries with his buddy again. They were working on the Mustang the other day. So, um, oh my gosh. So anyway, let me show you these jeans I got him. See <laughs> the cool little wrinkles right there. So Colt definitely would wear those. Not so much if, no, if Brady will be cool about those, but they're just cool Levi's, you know, they're different, they're fun. So we'll see if I can uh, convert the redneck into a cool dude because I love cool uh, jeans like that. I'm not so much into 501's boring. So anyways, we'll see if we can make him cool. If not, you know, whatever. Just have to uh, um, face the fact that I am married to a redneck. Oh my gosh, they're a little bit closed-minded sometimes. You know, camouflage hats and 501s or Carhartts and that's about all we get. So anyway, but I gotta tell you what happened yesterday when I was at um, the conference food wise. So um, there was this table and it was partway through the day and I was getting a little bit hungry. And so I went up and it looked like there was like this little nut bar. So I picked one up and I looked at it closer. You guys, it was like a chocolate chip cookie with a walnut on it. And I had already touched it. So I'm like going, I don't want to get in sugar. I don't want to eat this. So I wadded it up in my hand, proceeded, didn't want anybody to see me. <laughs> proceeded down the hall and threw it in the trash next to the ladies' bathroom. And then um, we were at dinner and we had a really nice, nice dinner to end the whole conference off with. And um, so we had this beautiful like prime rib dinner. Not sure what exactly it was, but it was some kind of yummy meat and um, like high class food. So one of the things that you could get was red potatoes, you know, mashed red potatoes, which I absolutely love red potatoes. But even though I'm in P4, I'm not so hip on the whole, um, you know, eating all that starch and sugar. So I try to stay away from it. If there's any special occasion, I might, but I'm trying to stay away from it. And it's so weird because it's almost like I look at it like, alcohol because I don't know if I've told you guys but I haven't drank alcohol since 1999 so I don't drink wine I don't drink vodka I don't drink beer I don't drink anything because I have a very addictive personality and I totally look up to people that can handle it but I know from my past that I can't so if I took a drink of wine, which I would love to take a drink of wine, um, by the end of the week, I would probably have boxes of wine in my fridge. I wouldn't be able to make it to work and I would be hungover every day. And I'm not kidding. <laughs> I just, I have an addictive personality. So I am trying to look at sugar and starch the same way going, you know, this might be one of those things. If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. If sugar causes you to sin, don't eat it. 
So um, I might end up just not eating sugar so and starch because I just want to don't want to go there again and um, anyways so uh, yesterday I had this really cool HCG moment I showed people my you know I just put on my before and after YouTube video and I was showing people at my table uh, the picture of me car vlogging, you know, the before and after, and that picture is so dramatic. It's like I look like two different people. It's the very beginning of my before and after uh, video. Anyway, so I show the people around my table, and just so happens the executive editor of Zonder Van Publishing was sitting at my table, and I wasn't trying to pitch anything to her. I was just like, whatever. Oh, hi, you live in Eugene. Oh, that's cool. I'm from Cottage Grove, you know, that kind of thing. And so... I was just talking to um, her just like a regular person, getting her off the pedestal, didn't want to pitch anything because I really don't have anything to pitch. I don't have any books, you know. And so, anyway, she ended up asking me for more information on my vlog. She wanted to see my vlog, my HCG vlog. So I ended up giving her my business card, which has my Facebook fan page, which has my All Voices News on it, which has, oh my gosh, just all my contact information. And it was so ironic because I was trying to pitch myself to Charisma Magazine, the uh, editor of that. And he was just like not interested in the type of content that I write. So, um, because I don't write Pentecostal charismatic stuff. And so that's what Charisma Magazine is. And so, um, anyways, it is just ironic how life is when you finally just go, whatever. Then somebody, you know, big is all interested in you. So anyway... But I think it was the HCG that caused her to start asking me more questions. So what do you write? So where do you write? So where's your, where's your platform? Blah, blah, blah. And it was really super cool. Very cool. Um, that was one of those life moments where you just have to leave it alone and it comes to you. The doors open, whatever. And, you know, maybe nothing comes of it, but... We want to build relationships with publishers. We want to build relationships with editors and with literary agents if we're a writer. So so just knowing that she could remember me, that she has my business card, whatever, maybe she'll watch the vlog, um, that is really exciting, you guys. So um, I'm just really happy, and it'll be weird if she watches this, huh? <laughs> that would be kind of funny because, um, I don't know, I guess, whatever. So, um, oh, so at our really nice dinner last night, um, there was dessert and the dessert was ice cream. And so when the girl started coming around and I saw that it was ice cream, well, no matter what it was going to be, I knew it was going to have sugar. It wasn't going to be some paleo dessert, right? So I knew I was going to turn it down. And so when she, the waitress, whatever came to try to deliver it to me I was just like no no thanks you know and it felt really good it felt really right and it felt like gosh am I developing really good habits I don't know but I hope it sticks you guys and I hope I can just have this accountability with you that you know if I do somehow miraculously not have an addictive personality wow that'd be great to be healed from that and be able to have a cookie or whatever ice cream whatever but at this point I know me and I don't want to risk that so hopefully when I feel some kind of peace or whatever that I could handle that maybe I will but maybe do I need to have it ever again you know what I mean do I need to ever have it again I don't know maybe if I was at somebody's house and they were serving dessert and it would be rude not to take it maybe I would but any other time or way not so sure I will choose those things so Anyway, I love you guys so much. Love the support. Love the comments. I'm going to get back in and comment some more. But as you know, I've been gone this weekend and haven't had time to really get on and um, comment back and comment to your videos and watch all your videos. But I will. And I just appreciate this community so much. And thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your stories. I love your stories. So keep bringing it on and keep teaching me because I learned so much by your vlogs and you guys out there that aren't vlogging yet, think about it. If not, keep commenting or start commenting if you're not and be a part of this community. Anyways, if you don't want to do that, that's okay too. Anyway, love you. Bye.